Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tia here. If you are new, please like and subscribe. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the e.l.f. foundation because I've never tried it before and I don't know, it was really cheap. So I was like, you know what, let me try it out. So today, that's what I'm doing. Um, This is in the shade 6M. It's like I need a new foundation to try because I'm freaking getting tired of using like the same one all the time so we're gonna see how this works so starting off it has like the little um pump applicator it's in a cute little bottle I have no idea how much um freaking millimeters or whatever but we're gonna try it and like test the consistency I also gotta be careful with these little bottles because they could like squirt out badly but Okay, that's what it looks like. I don't know why my beauty blender like that is like that. Um, is this my shade? Why does this look so light? No! Look how dark it is in the bottle. Like, in, I'm pretty sure this is like the second darkest um, shade too. So it's like, so I'm done trying the e.l.f. because for some reason, like, this is how it looks. It looks freaking terrible. Um, no wonder it's freaking cheap. But, um, I literally, I swear I got like the second to darkest shade because I thought it was going to look exactly like the bottle, you know? Um, and then I have this like Maybelline one and this is in shade 340 this is literally too dark and look how like orange it looks so this was a waste of money I'm pretty sure this was like 13 dollars um so the foundation that i'm currently using is this juvia's place one looks like this in the shade 430 um i don't know i feel like i suck at like matching my shade and i'm not trying to get matched in this store because then if it doesn't work you have to return it and all that so i'm just gonna put this over this and i swear it's like whatever shade i buy I, I end up looking like orange or like too dark too light i don't know like i have a hard time freaking matching my skin tone so and it's also depends on the lighting too because sometimes i be doing my makeup in the freaking dark so it's like i think it looks good but then you walk outside and it's like what the so this is no longer a foundation review this is gonna be my um a makeup tutorial or something i have no idea okay, so got my foundation on now i'm gonna use tarte shape tape i need to buy some more i also feel like this shade is um one too light but they didn't have my other shade in stores um but yeah, usually I do my makeup in my upstairs room. But I'm currently living in my guest room right now. Okay, so I need to tell you guys a freaking story um, while I'm doing this. I'm going to try to talk. Oh, I'm going to try to talk and do my makeup at the same time. So um, I work at this like summer job, basically. Um... And I literally just started working again, like this past Saturday. And I was like, yay, like excited to work and make money. Therefore I can buy more stuff, you know? Cause I need that like weekly, monthly serotonin or whatever. Um, so I started working on Saturday and I was like, yo, like I'm only getting like $60 for this, but whatever. And I was like mad because um, I first got there and um my boss was talking to me he was like okay you need to fill out this paperwork you know like the w2 and all that and i was like okay that's cool that's cool and um he was like yeah get it back to me like tomorrow or whenever and i was like okay and then um the, my friend who i worked with last year um she's like i forget how old she is like 17 um but she works there too and i was like oh that's cool we're gonna work together but her friend 
her she got her friend hired as well um and when you get your friend like to work there you basically get like a bonus of like two hundred dollars because like nobody's trying to work there um so she got her friend to work there and now it's like them two and me were like the only young people that work there and then there's like a whole bunch of older people so it was like um i'm like barely talking to her because like i hate friend groups like that where it's like um two people like know each other more and then like the, the other person's like just left out so i was like let me just not even bother talking to them um so the one girl um that i worked with last year she was working in the back of the um the freaking workplace and like there's nobody back there because she's like folding towels and stuff and um so she's not like wearing her mask or anything and like the boss was literally like oh you need to wear your mask like before you even come in the place so i'm thinking like okay i gotta actually have it on like 24 7 because for some reason like last year we barely wore a mask i guess we were just weren't taking things seriously it's like the girl was in the back and she's barely wearing her mask and i'm like girl like put on your mask because first of all you don't want to get in trouble like the boss is like strict about certain stuff and um and then i'm like barely talking to her because it's not like i have anything to talk to her about in the first place and um it's just like awkward there because like her she's like talking to her friend all the time and of course she knows her friend better than she knows me so i'm not even bothered like talking to them for real but i'm talking to her friend like a little bit like off the side like when i get paired to work with her friend and um whole time the um the girl that i worked with already she's like barely wearing her mask when she's talking like she's always pulling it down and she's going to the bathroom without wearing it and i'm like girl like put on your mask and then um it was like literally a hard day of work um i felt like i was working like for freaking hours doing the same thing over and over with this one like older woman and so i was already mad about that but also mad that um i like didn't have like a lunch for real because i don't know um so i was mad that i was hungry and like overworked and i'm thinking like okay like at least i'm starting to like get some money now um and then um later that night like i'm coming out of the shower and my boss texts me and he's like oh um this girl she just tested positive for corona and i'm like what what because it's like why would you come to work if you got like tested for corona you know um that's i feel like that's just like common sense you know like if i'm like sick and then you get tested and you're waiting for results you would think you would stay home to like keep everyone else safe but no so um he told me to stay home for 10 days until like i start like feeling better or like see what happens and get tested and all that so currently home right now bored doing nothing um down here because my sister doesn't want me upstairs touching her stuff um but yeah i text the girl and i'm like mad because first of all it's like i've been in my house for the past year not doing anything like i barely go out since i don't have friends and stuff and i'm like following the rules always wearing my mask like being safe um washing my hands doing all that and the one day i go to work the one day i freaking leave my house to make some money this girl is gonna go to work without her mask and possibly get people sick and that's what i'm so mad about because it's like i freaking worked one day you know like what did i i don't deserve this um but yeah so i texted her and i'm like really like are you serious and she's like what and i'm like you tested positive and you still came to work and she was like well i thought it was allergies and i'm like what do you mean and then she said like the symptoms that she had were like watery eyes runny nose and that's like the same allergy symptoms that she gets or something like that um but i'm here thinking like you um like is it shouldn't it be different like i feel like you should be able to tell like if it's like normal allergies or something else um but she said she's not really experiencing anything bad so her and her mom thought it was just allergies for like a whole week or something and then she was like oh let me go get tested on thursday and then the results obviously take a couple days to come back so 
um instead of like staying home and waiting for her results she literally freaking came to work and who knows how many people she like infected before she even got tested because for like a whole week or so she like said it was allergies and i'm like really though um so i'm like really mad about that and then she was saying that she goes back to work soon and i'm like how is that possible and she's like oh i can't infect anyone like past um like 10 days 10 days like i never heard of that rule like do you you, can, you just can't infect people like once is once you've had it for 10 days like how is that possible she's like i don't know but that's just what it is and so i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to work on wednesday i'm like trying to do like the calculations i'm like how is that like like why i don't get it because me it's like i guess i'm just genuinely like a caring person like i would be i'd be worrying about others before myself and i'm here pissed off because it's like um only my dad is vaccinated and um the rest of my family isn't so i'm mad that like it's like i don't care if i get sick for real but it's like mostly just my family you know and so it's like it sucks so now i'm here staying home for freaking who knows long how long um like even if i get tested negative i'm still gonna be home because um he said like i have to wait like 10 days or something just to be sure um and that freaking sucks because it's like i'm literally just trying to make some money and then this girl had to freaking mess everything up so that's like one of the most annoying things ever but yeah i just had to tell you guys that story because i don't know um and like everyone i've told was like oh that girl she seems like so like inconsiderate and blah blah and i'm like well i mean i guess to be fair she said her symptoms were like the same as allergies so it's nothing you can do at this point so now i got to just wait it out and hopefully i don't have it because apparently like you can still have it and have like um you can be asymptomatic so it's like you could be carrying it and spreading it without like feeling sick at all so hopefully that's not the case so i'm gonna get tested in two days because i had to make an appointment um because nowhere around me does like walk-ins or whatever um so now i gotta get this stupid stick stuck up my freaking brain um to see if i have it so i feel like that's the worst part of it all like i don't know and then it's like i'm already like a stressed out person like and i overthink and i think about like the worst case scenario and stuff so i'm thinking like dang like am i gonna die blah 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 um but it's like i have people that like reassure me so i don't know i just hope everything is gonna be good because if not i'm gonna be freaking mad um but yeah what i'm gonna do next is my eyeshadow i'm using this palette um by juvia's place i think looks like that um has these colors in it um usually when i'm like i have no clue what to do i just put some brown um in the outer corners of my eyes and kind of like feather it out and then i just call it a day honestly because it's like when i'm just going for like a neutral look um i'll take some brown on the edges and i'll put some like orange on my lid just to spice it up but like otherwise i don't mean really doing mascara i mean eyeshadow anymore and it sucks because i used to do like these cool colorful looks and everything but now i feel like that's just like a little too much and it's too time consuming because you gotta get everything blended right and like have colors that like go well together but now i just like put on like one simple shade and then i throw on some lashes and i call it a freaking day because i got no time these are the lashes i'm gonna be using <sighs> look like that oh i forgot i gotta cut them don't i 
Okay, so this is the end of the video. I put my freaking lashes on. I did my hair in this style that I saw this girl do on TikTok. And I put this little shirt on, put my tattoo on. So yeah, ready to go. But thank you guys for watching this video. It was just like rant, makeup video, whatever. But make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.